Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to try to solve or prove this particular identity. For that one we're going to have to use the formulas that convert from a sum to a product. So let's write those down. So first of all we have the sum of two signs. So the sine of A plus the sine of B can be written as 2 times the sine of A plus B divided by 2 times the cosine of A minus B divided by 2. Now the other one, the cosine plus the cosine, so we have the cosine of A plus the cosine of B, that can be written as 2 times the cosine of A plus B over 2 times the cosine of A minus B over 2. Alright, now that we have those two general equations, let's apply them here. So this can now be written right, as be 2 times the sine of the sum divided by 2, which would be x plus 5x, divided by 2, times the cosine of the difference, which is x minus 5x, divided by 2. And the whole thing is divided by 2 times the cosine of, and that would be a plus b, would be x plus 5x, divided by 2, times the cosine of x minus 5x, divided by 2. All right, now we can look at this and see that we can cancel out the twos, and I'll put my equal sign over there. The twos cancel out, and here this is the same, so that cancels out as well. So we're left with the sine divided by the cosine, so this is equal to the sine of 6x divided by 2, which is 3x, divided by the cosine of 6x divided by 2, which is 3x, and that, of course, then simplifies to the tangent of 3x, which is what we had over there. And so that's how we prove this particular identity. So you can see that using these sum to product conversions can come in very handy, especially in this case.